past quarter, the Edmonton retail market has been faced with a variety of new challenges brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, which, as we know, has pushed numerous businesses into closing permanently. Landlords and tenants have been forced to compromise and restructure their lease agreements, which has actually been quite a successful endeavor given how many businesses have been saved. Those companies under pressure have needed to be transparent by sharing financials, which are sensitive, and it's been a commendable level of collaboration overall. Basically, you have both sides that realize they're codependent upon each other, and they have no choice but to figure out a solution to make this work. It was already a tenant and purchaser favored market pre-COVID, and the pandemic has only further accentuated that imbalance. Overall, it's an excellent time to negotiate space because there are fewer natural users for those vacancies. Landlords are offering juicy incentive packages, including lots of free rent, uh, sometimes in lieu of TI, and often staggering those free months later into the term. This is a way for landlords to mitigate risk given all the tenant delinquencies and retain cash in these uncertain times. With respect to rental rates, there's a perception that they've fallen off a cliff as of late, but that's simply not the case when it comes to new construction, given their build costs are about the same and haven't softened in any significant way. Where we've definitely seen some rent compression is for existing second gen inventory, given how much space of that has come back onto the market.